What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Starbound. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, I think the biggest thing that we accomplished was we unlocked the final upgrade for our ship, which has made it that much more spacious. Um, so we had a couple of other things we were working on, like expanding the um, the colony and stuff like that. But I do think I'm gonna take um, the day, or the, the episode, not the day, but the, the episode, and I think we're going to shift gears a bit and focus mostly, there's a couple of things I also want to do, but focus mostly on, um, completing, or not completing, but reworking the ship and utilizing some of this extra space. Uh, now with that said, there's a couple of things that I needed to, to kind of go through, through the comments section. Um, the first being from Photo Loss, seemingly as always, um, and uh, that's that I, uh, I don't have the cheap lights that was being referenced before. Um, I looked in the last episode, I couldn't find them either, um, and supposedly the only place that, um, I thought maybe it was the ship light ones, but they're actually not um, the ones in question. Um, so they're supposed to be on some type of laboratory in uh, Apex type labs, um, but apparently I have not actually encountered them because I've scanned pretty much everything I've encountered, and so I would have scanned them already. Um, the other thing is, I mentioned in the last episode those little guys, the little green little blobs, um, I couldn't capture with the capture pods, um, but apparently there is, and I've, I've known about it, but I had never actually made it. The relocator, um, which you can actually use to capture them, which I may end up making today because that sounds fun. And I also am going to end up needing to move these guys. So they're, they're designed, I'm thinking this will work anyway. They're designed to, it'll hold up to three things and you can capture them and then you can, uh, as the name implies, relocate them. Hey, don't open my door and then just walk away, dude. That's not cool. Crazy pants. Okay, or keep opening. I hate these mm -hmm. people. Just go away. Um, so, yeah, that's something I probably want to do, especially for moving these guys, because we're going to end up moving the farms. Um, let's see. What? Oh, the other thing with that, though, is that, like, these are mine. They're friendly. But the little green blobs and stuff would be considered neutral, because um, you're kind of, like, cheating them. You're not really supposed to be able to pick them up kind of thing. From, from what I understand. So because they're still neutral, they can still die. So if you do that on your own ship, just be mindful of that. that you could accidentally kill them and then they're gone. Um, the other thing is I had mentioned in this in the last episode, this hull block of like trying to replicate this if I wanted to, to wall off something or something to that effect. And apparently that's a no-go. Um, you cannot actually fabricate, scan, whatever... Um, this hull block and the back panel. Now, the reason that perplexes me a little bit is because if my memory serves way back in like alpha, beta, whatever it was, I think you could. Because there was a point where you could... Hold up. Hold up. Oh, you can break that. What is this? I wonder. Um, let's get rid of sandstone. What are you? Wall panel. Interesting. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I forgot that's background. Okay. Okay. What about you? Okay, so you can't get this, um, the dark gray stuff, but you can actually break this stuff. Oh, wait, no. I'm using the wrong thing. I keep forgetting this is foreground. What is this? Ship support. Huh. Okay. Okay, the same trick does not work on that. Now, with that said, I don't think... Um, oh, that's just doors. I don't think you can actually make that, was the overall general point that was trying to be made here. So it was called wall block. Oh, wall panel, there it is. So wall panel is there and ship support is there oh 
Okay, so you can make the backdrop stuff. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, so you can't do this middle stuff and you can't do this back... Huh? Go away. Huh? Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't really help all that much considering that you can't actually, um, you know, break this, the hull dimensions or anything like that. So you can't change up the room size or anything. So it's kind of a moot point in a way. Um, because what else are you going to need this backdrop stuff for if you're not making another room? But I was thinking more to seal off an area like um, here, for example, of like separating these two and keeping them their own thing. But, you know, whatever. So mostly, for the most part, you can do this backdrop stuff, I guess, but you can't really mess with the hull of the ship, per se. Um, the other thing was to try out the Violium Broadsword. And I don't think I have that. Wait, what is that? When was that a thing? I don't remember getting that. Alright, whatever. Um, so the Violium Broadsword is refined Violium, Solarium, and a battery. Okay. Because according to Photo Loss, other than... Um, other than that one, fancier lightsaber-esque type weapons would have to be done through modding. Um, so that's interesting. The other thing we could do, I don't know. Let's check. It is a, a purple tier already, a legendary. Um, so it's possible that we may be able... I think you might be able to upgrade that, though, because it is legendary but it doesn't have the star. So if we did another vault, we could actually upgrade that to more of like this caliber type thing. So that's cool. And we do already have this one. I had mentioned in the last episode, do I still have it equipped? I do not. Um, I mentioned in the last episode, one of these had this kind of thing and I was like, it's a Darth Maul kind of weapon and all I need is a lightsaber staff kind of thing. Um, but, but, you know, that, um, apparently that's the, 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 the katana, the Sol Solus katana and the Violium broadsword are two of the main ways you can get a lightsaber-esque type weapon. Um, without mods, obviously. Modding, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, so, now on to the ship building. I almost said base building. Um, I got a comment from Jimmy Carter that was talking about layouts for potential things we could do, and I like most of where it's going. So first of all, uh, they were agreeing that I should probably move the farm back here. I do like that idea. Mainly because it's back and out of the way, um, and it accomplishes the same thing. It's kind of like this is the same room. I don't have to reconfigure everything. I just need to move it. Um, down below here, doing water plants, which I also like the idea of. Now, there is this little caveat here. And what I mean by that is, let me double check something. I'm not sure if I place dirt here. Okay, I can still fit. Okay, I wasn't sure about that. So basically, we would bring the water up to this height, because we've tested that before, and that'll let uh, water, water plants grow. And we just need to make sure that they're, um, the water level's the same on both sides. And then we could plant a bunch of water plants if we wanted to. So this would be like the water farms. Um, as for entries, I think I would seal this. Maybe not. Maybe we could just do like platforms or something and then you could just jump up. And that would probably work out. Uh, we'll do a door here. Uh, one thing we could do, I don't think it's really necessary, but we could actually do... Um, some kind of virtual, uh, not virtual, um, a hatch. I believe that those can be printed now through the printer. Um, I don't recall, stuff like this, an airlock hatch. It's a horizontal version of the doors, basically. Um, so I've thought about doing that. I might end up just doing steel platforms. I don't want to do wood, though. Wood is kind of the placeholder at the moment. Um, I'm kind of thinking this is gonna... Nah, I don't know. I don't know where this is gonna go yet. Um, so the idea is this becomes the 
Hold on. I gotta eat. Okay, so yes, I did eat, but I also figured I'd take the time to get a little work done on the progress stuff and go mm -hmm. away. So I managed to move this stuff and I got this set up down here, sort of. I did plug the um, glass, so that should work now, in theory. I'm not really sure exactly if there's a spot where you can just hold this and it won't go any further. I'm actually also not sure, since this is a much larger space, I'm really not sure um, how much water it's actually going to take to fill this up. That's another thing we'll have to kind of play with. Apparently a lot more than what I have. Wait a minute, I've got a leak. I've got a leak somewhere. Okay, that's what's going on. That took me way too long to see. Oh! Oh, okay. That's unexpected. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I didn't think that would be visible. I thought it would kind of do the same thing as our other one. What does this look like? Eh. Okay. So that was a waste of a lot of water, essentially. I did not really... Okay, so food... So basically kind of a um, quick tip is this doorway block is actually not sealed either so that's fun uh what was the wall panel because i figure we could do that tungsten bars i don't actually think i have any of those tungsten tungsten oh i do okay let's just grab a few of them i don't know how i can't remember how many it said we needed um i know that it is very okay it's one i will say the building materials and stuff is very forgiving which is really good because it kind of encourages some diverse building oh um right i don't really foresee a need for mud even though i had gravel oh well all right so yeah there's definitely a leak that looks much better. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright. So we don't actually need that much water. We just need to make sure it's not running out of the ship. Okay. Now... Like I said, we've tested it before, and as long as the water is like halfway up into the platform here, we should be okay. But we have to... Unfortunately, the, the fluid mechanics and stuff in this is pretty cool overall, um, but you do kind of have to wait for everything to balance out, which is a little annoying. Do we have another leak somewhere? Or is it just taking a minute? I guess it's just taking a minute to kind of balance out. Because it seems like it's more full over here. But I guess... I guess it's just taking it a minute. I don't want to go too overboard with it. But I think... Maybe a little bit more. I think that'll do it. Or one more on this side. I think that should do it. It keeps kind of settling back down though, so I'm not really sure. I think that'll be I think that'll be fine. Okay. So with that, we should be able to start where's my coral creep? That's beak seed. 
Uh, coral creep. It never looks right to me. I'm also not sure how you get, um, oh right, I've got to till the ground. Duh. Um. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 what? Oh, I'm untilling it. Okay, I was like, wait, what is going on here? The movement mechanics are different. Oh, it's consuming water. That's interesting. I just noticed the sound effects were changing. So it's actually consuming it when you're... Yeah, you can even see the little uh, water block disappear. Interesting. I did not know that. Now, as far as I know, once you've tilled it, then it stays that way because it's submerged. But that's still pretty cool. That's a, that's a neat little Easter egg kind of thing. So now, well, that might have to do for now since I don't have any more water. Um, we're going to go ahead and plant them and then we can always add more if it's not enough. Maybe it's not enough. Because it's not letting me plant the coral creep. Interesting. It's letting me plant the reef pod. Okay, so it must not be enough then. It's It must need to be higher. Did I already... I'm pretty sure I consolidated all of my water at some point. I don't think I have any more just laying around anywhere. Um, so that's something we'll have to work on. But uh, that makes sense to me now because it won't actually let me plant it. So it's kind of one of those where uh, if it did... I mean, if it, if it would let me plant it and then it wouldn't grow, that wouldn't make sense. So I guess it's once it's plantable, it's high enough water level for it to actually grow. So that's good to know. Um, I did make the relocator, which is a cool little gizmo, actually. Um, so like for these guys, you would right click and you get this cool effect. And then you can see the little dot on my gun. And then you can fire it and it relocates them. So that's pretty cool. I, I really like that. That's pretty neat. And I don't really need as much of a gate thing there anymore, per se. I did change this a little bit. It doesn't have... Um, actually, I'm going to remove that one plant because I'm going to put a sprinkler there, I think. Um, and the other thing I thought of is I think this would work. Let me actually, it should, other than again, if something needs more height, but we could actually do this as well and bring this down here and then do something like that. Now, once we're under here, we would have to come up through the middle, but this would actually give us some more um, farming space as well for different crops and things like that. And then we could just drop under here. We could walk this way. And do like this. Um, this would probably affect... Okay, this is actually a problem. Um, I think... I feel like there was a way to curve those or something like that. Now we could do, would that work? No, how's, how's that work? But the jump boost that, that I have right now is actually causing me issues, to be honest, because it's just like, wee! Um, okay, cat needs to get out of the way. Oh, you have to go one, wait, what? I'm trying to figure out why this won't actually do a slant. Anyways, there may be a way to slant this, and if that's the case, I probably would. Um, because there's there's actually, you can see again with the jump boost that I have naturally on the ship, that's a really difficult thing to go back and forth through there. Um, the other thing is, do I have a 
door on me? That I, can, I do. We can test this here. Okay, so that works okay. So that's fine. Hello? Thank you. Um, oh my gosh, go away. Um, so that was some of the other things I didn't really get into uh, before I had to take a break to eat. And I almost have to do that again. So uh, the rest of Jimmy Carter's comment was to do um, farms back here, underwater farms down here. I added this section, which we may or may not need. This is a lot of farming. But it would actually give us the ability to do multiple different kinds of plants and things for different various things. And, and frankly, we don't really need a ton of room for different stuff, like um, a cooking area or something like that. You don't really need, like, a crap load of stuff for that. Um, and it actually occurred to me just now, I might go through and do these doorways either with a door for is is the first option but i could also do them like this and if i'm being really super nitpicky i could put um the station support thing under here but i didn't make any of those um so that's something i've thought of but i don't know um i don't think it would affect if there's a if there's a door there like if you put a door over it i don't think it would have any effect on that um, but so anyways, so the rest of the plan was to make this a storage room instead of my little, um, storage closet over here, which I do like the idea of with larger, bigger, like, crates and things like that. Um, up here doing crew quarters, which I like the idea of, and I may actually replace these with hatches instead of platforms. Um, though I don't know, we can build on top of platforms, so maybe we'll keep it. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, this would be a good place for this, I imagine. Oops. Well, all right. Um, so these could be, like, maybe... I could actually do, like, one person's crew quarters for back here or something. Because we actually have a significant amount of crew. Um, we are maxed out with our upgrades, but I don't know if when we upgraded if that would actually give us two more crew slots. I'm not sure. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. We had ten people on board this ship. So I don't know if we can go up to twelve or not. If we did these little cell rooms or, or like bunks, cells sounds like it's a prison. That's kind of... <clears throat> um, we could do eight here and then maybe do like two here. Or something, and then I believe this was where we were talking about of of doing um, a captain's cabin or something over here. Now, ironically, this is actually smaller than these, so the only way I would do this as a captain's quarters is if like this was the last two crew member or something, and then I got two cells, and then this one, and then this is more just like a bedroom or something. That would work. Um, then basically this area would turn in this area and this area would turn into our crafting type areas which they kind of already are but they're kind of also infected by storage and other things um and then this would be the armory which was where um i had talked about doing uh, armor stands like this and doing like a set of every armor piece or something like that um so that would be kind of a neat idea. And then this we could use for like extra weapons or something like that if we wanted to. Uh, so that's kind of the idea overall, like the layout. Let me know what you guys think about that. What happened here? They did it. Oh, it increased the height, I guess, of the bridge. Why? I don't know. That seems rather odd actually. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take all this down and then I'll throw the lights back up. That's really weird, actually. Like, it doesn't really add much to anything. Um, so I'm not really sure why that's there. But, yeah, so that's kind of the basic plan at this point. Um, so with that said, I do have a ton of storage stuff. So what I need to actually look at, I think, is... And I apologize because the frame rate's going to dip. I don't know why, but this is apparently a known issue 
um, that the pixel printer has frame rate issues. I, I don't know why. So we have the crates that hold 48. Ooh, that's cool. Um, storage lockers are smaller, it looks like, so they hold 48 items. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm looking for tech-based things, um, like something like this, for example, or these astro crates or something. I'm looking for stuff that holds a lot of items, but looks more techy than like a cabinet or something like that. Um, ooh, there's a chic fridge, though. That's cool. We'll have to replace our current fridge because that's a way cooler one. Um, 24, 32, a dumpster. That's, that's good. Um, now see, if I was going for like an avian or something, I'd love to do like a, a bunch of these kinds of things or something to make it look more, um, uh, ooh, an industrial crate. That's only 32 though. Uh, something a bit more, um, ancient, you know, um, industrial storage locker. That's a cool one. 48. You could probably also go by price, that it looks like 225 is going to be your, um, ooh, 64, boom. That's what we're looking for right there. Um, okay, so, what was that one, 625? So anything that's like above 225 to 625 is these big shipping crates, it looks like. Um, I do like these as well for smaller crates. Uh, trash bag, always a always a good one. Um, let's see. I don't really see anything else that size, actually. So I think I I do like the industrial one, wherever it went. There's the shipping container. Um. Where did it go? Oh, now I need to eat again, of course. Oh, large shipping container. There we go. I do like these over the red ones, so let's grab one of these for now. I've never really seen these in the game, so... Okay. Woo! Oh, gosh. Fine. Fine game, fine. Oh, and these little things, by the way. Corn peckers. Sounds terrible. Uh, those do a lot for for food i full disclosure i've been eating those i thought they were the bonbons they were not um so how many of these could we fit see this is a little bit of a frustration thing on my part because i have that kind of like i want everything to be symmetrical um and this would work but then it won't work here because this takes up into this middle pillar. Um, the other thing is height wise, we can only do what looks like one of these. And then if you tried to do another one, unless we remove these lights, which I may do, let's actually get three of these and see what we can see what we can work with. Um, since we have a decent amount of pixels right now, it shouldn't be a problem. So let's do shipping. Oh, a station crate. What does... Oh, it actually checks the description. That's interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. I was like, where did this shipping one come from? It doesn't have any of that in there. So we could do... Alright. What I'm actually thinking is to do... Um, I'm actually thinking we're going to do crates and then do a smaller version is kind of my thought process at this point. Um, okay, so this is a little bit irritating. Um, what could we do? What, what to do? What to do? All right, so we don't need a platform here. We have the floor, so that's fine. What I'm going to try and do... Ooh, that takes up another spot though doesn't it are, are you serious i can't place this here because of the freaking cat all right ah! <laughs> it won't let me do it oh man all right so let's do that i i had to try um again the stupid cat oh my gosh thank you get out of here okay it's not the cat's fault but still it was in the way Let's just, 
Let's just accept that fact. Um, I don't actually know how many of these I have left. Probably not enough. Okay, so then we can put that one there. Now, and I may have to, ah, crud muffin. I may have to supplement this with other things. <laughs> this is so mismatched now. Okay, uh, do you fit? Yes, perfection. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna do wood platforms for now and I'm gonna take it out to there, I think. Um, I could probably just make some, actually, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me just work on this and we'll probably wrap this episode up after I finish this up. Okay, so this is what I've come up with. It's not perfect, but it's as close as I think we're going to get because of the, just the way everything is laid out. So each one of these gives us 64. And I, by the way, I love the sound these make. It's like you're in some big warehouse. <laughs> it's great. Um, then these give us 48, and then each one of these gives us another 24. So between that, I really kind of feel like we should be good. Like, if we fill all of these up and I don't have any room, it's going to be like, what the heck are you doing? And I'll probably break it down, like, armor and weapons and stuff, and then have, like, I don't know, organic foods and things. Though most of the food needs to be kept in a fridge, so the only issue I'm having is right here. Ooh, not that. Uh, not that. Is right here, you can't walk through because of the height of the platform, so you kind of have to, like, down jump. Uh, but in trying to do a stairway... Hello. Which seems to work there when good grief why am i so floaty what is going on jump boost light full bit. i should not be floaty anyways uh this happens where you can't oh yeah i guess you can kind of again down jump if you need to or just kind of crouch and wiggle your way through but it's not ideal um that's that's not really ideal for that and it does look like it doesn't really even work for the i don't know why i'm so floaty the heck oh maybe that's light i was thinking light as in brightness that might be light as in gravity from something i ate um but you'll notice if i walk forward it just drops off it doesn't actually seem like it's reading this platform so i'm not really sure about that how to fix that or anything um but yeah, I'm thinking of, I don't know about organics because, like I said, most of it's supposed to stay in a fridge or something to keep it from spoiling. Though there is all of the um, seeds and components and things like that we might store in here. And that would cut down on what needs to go over here, which we could make. Um, I mean, we could leave this the way that it is. It is still part of the crafting thing, but... I'd like to alter it in some way. Thank you. I'm not so floaty anymore. So we'll probably put like the stove and stuff over here and some of the gardening utensils. I don't know. And then put like the, um, or put the fridge and stuff up there. I'm, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, this worked out pretty well. It's just in a different spot now. Now grant you, it'd be a lot of work, but I could actually move all of this back here and put this as storage and, th and keep it. But you know, um, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments, and then I think next step is going to be working on the crew quarters, and also, uh, transporting all of this crap into this stuff, and sorting it, and all that kind of stuff, and figuring out what, what goes where. Um, but I'm thinking we'll do, I could do armors and weapons, and then do, like, decorations, and, and building stuff, and then do, um... What was going to be down here? I was going to do organics. Oh, crafting. Like, this could be decorations and things like that, and then this could be crafting materials or something. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. In the meantime, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.